Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a new project called Project M from the developers NCSoft. Now NCSoft, they have a history of working on more mobile projects. So this is actually gonna be their first game designed for the console. And from what I hear, it actually looks pretty stunning. It's gonna be developed in Unreal Engine 5. So, I mean, that's always promising. Anything we've seen from Unreal Engine 5 in the last couple of months has been Pretty unbelievable. Not really too much more to say about it. I'm gonna give my first impressions and I'm gonna take my first look at it now. Let's check it out. Huh? Holy shit, it looks good. Hani, Mania Gemaria. Wow. Krong. Dega Puxu Juka. I'm getting a sense of it being more of a story-oriented game, less about combat and things like that. Well, well, you never know. Oh, do you see there? They switched the motion capture with the gameplay. There you go, we got some controls, so it's obviously being, being developed for PlayStation. That is sick! They show you like the real life elements and then they... How they implemented it in Unreal Engine 5. Ani, that looks unreal! Then I'll fix it. No. No? Don't do it. But yeah, I think we can gather from, from this preview... That it's definitely going to be a story based game. A little bit less about the combat, maybe like... Maybe not exactly 100% walking simulator. Maybe a few puzzles involved or a little bit of cutscene combat, maybe like quick time events. But just how everything looks with the motion capture and like, look at her face. Wow. We've come a long way. <laughs> That's for sure. NC Soft. Wow, that looks super promising. I guess it's pretty obvious why people hinted at being developed for console because there are a bunch of set pieces in this preview that, that literally have the PlayStation uh, controls on them. But it definitely has that Quantic Dream style to it, like the developer's Quantic Dream. It's something maybe they would develop, something in that direction. It's hard to say how far along this game is because sometimes previews like these can honestly mean that the game is still relatively early in production. And these sort of previews can act as more of like a way to pull potential developers to the project, to hire them and essentially just build up their studio to get the project finished. But it looks really good. Excited to hear more about it. And when we do see some more footage of it, I'll be sure to get it up onto the channel. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in any of the upcoming console games coming out, I've got a list in the description below. You can check that out there. Apart from that, have a good day, guys. Catch you later.